to Violent Keys World. <laughs> We're back for part two. If you didn't check out part one, go and check out part one of us cooking. This is called Sloppy Joe Big Mac. That's right. It was inspired by DK Foel, D Aaron King. Yeah. There's a boy girl. That's Aaron the King. They did this little challenge to see you. And I, we accepted this challenge. So, And we got some more mukbangs and some more channels. We want to see y'all accept this challenge too of doing this. We want to give a shout out to Kicking It With Sin City. We want to see you make this uh, Sloppy Joe Big Mac. We want to see Chillin' With Walt. Puff Puff Gang, we want to see you make this Big Mac and see can you make it better than us. We want to give a shout out to Lynn Spirit. That's my boy, Lynn Spirit. Yeah. We want to see can he make it. Be love. Be love. We want to shout her out and see can she make this Big Mac sloppy joe and can she do it better than us or can she do it better than DK for L. Candy Poo Vlog Life. Yes, Candy Poo Vlog Life. That's my girl. I love watching her channel. And we want to shout out her and we want to see can she do this challenge of making a Sloppy Joe Big Mac. And also my favorite channel, J Vlog. I want to see my girl, see can she come in and recreate this on J Vlog. All right, J Vlog. And last but not least, the Prince Family. <laughs> I love me some Prince Family. Yes, we yes, see yes. If they can come in and make it. And if any other YouTube channels want to get in on it, it's called the Sloppy Joe Big Mac. The sloppiest of all. And if you think you can make it better than us, <laughs> check it out. Check it out. Like I said, though, we got a uh, cooking video on how we made it. It's on the other channel. I mean, it's on the other channel. On the other previous video. So we want y'all to go check that out so you see if you can make it. And we're going to say a word of prayer before we dig in. Now. In Jesus' name we pray. Father God, thank you for this day. Father God, thank you for everything that you've done in our lives yes, and everything Lord. that you're getting ready to do. Father God, we touch, we ask that you touch all the people that have been affected by this pandemic, Father yes, God. Because we know that you are bigger than this pandemic, yes, Father God. Father God is bigger than this coronavirus. Yes, we have no fear because we serve an almighty God and he's bigger than this coronavirus. Yes, so Father God, we just thank you for everything you've done. Let this meal be nourishment to our body. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Serving God 
and, and, and doing those things that he called us to do yeah. for a season. But this, this right here, this place right here is not our home. If you in Christ, your home is in heaven yeah. with your father. But like I said, those who have lost loved ones just know that God is still in control. He don't make no mistakes. Or if you've been affected by it. That's right, because some have been sick. Yeah. They made it through the thing, but they were sick. Yeah. But God still had them too. And those that are going through it right All now, right. God still got you as well. Yeah. This too shall pass. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're passing. Yeah. It's too self-hate. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So what y'all been doing since y'all been sheltered in place? I'm not down. What have some of the stuff that y'all been doing? Well, just comment below and some of the things y'all been doing. This is a time where God want to speak to yeah. his people. This is a, we were moving too fast. We be yep. moving too fast and sometimes God can't talk to you. Yep. But he has a way of talking to you. Yeah, yep. he does. That way slowing us down. It might not be, it might not be how we, how he did. It might not be how we like it. But we can't control what God do. God do what he want to do. That's right. Because this world belongs to him. And yep. everything oh, in it. Yep. Right. I know my spiritual life be getting deeper and deeper since I've been God to God have a way of slowing you down and get back his attention to you. Mm -hmm. And so I've been praying more, studying more, and just building up my spiritual life more. Yeah. How about you, my boy? <laughs> I've been doing the same thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, that guy that <clears throat> looking back on the older people the more. Yeah. But God got me. Yeah. God sits high and looking low. He keeps all harm and danger with him. Yeah. And he protects you and guides you everywhere you go. Yeah. You go out there and you should find sense of what God gave you. Yeah. And you'll be here. You'll be here long. God wants you to be here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He wants you to come home here, come here, bring you home. That's right. He wants you to go in the hospital, he'll put you in the hospital. That's right. Once you be at home, he'll put you in your uh, secret place at home. That's it. So all he want you to do is just pay attention to them. Yeah. They didn't do this for nothing. They didn't shut the church down and all the other business down for nothing. Because uh -huh. they want us to get this, uh, know them more. We already living in the last days. And they want us to uh, live, they want us to get in our secret closet and listen to them more. That's it. And what y'all should do, pay attention to what God tell y'all to do. And Jesus too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause he loves what he likes his son down on the cross where I see him. Amen. And that ain't good, I don't know what it is. Amen. And, uh, I just want y'all to pay attention to God and be careful and, and uh, do everything God tell you to do. And stop doing things what the devil tell you to do. God, he gonna tell you to do it. He gonna have, ain't no arms around you. Mm -hmm. yeah. God always got arms around you. So you just do what God and Jesus want you to do. That's right. And you here to have you be in the long end. That's it. I know I'm gonna be in him. Yeah. Till I get hungry. Yeah. I'm gonna be him. So I know you all gonna be him too. Yeah. So all you have to do is put God and Jesus first and listen to them and use your five senses. You could be him. That's it. And I just sit here and I thought about one more person. I want to get through for a little gum bust of the All right, you guys. Oh, Lord.
fast. <laughs> Probably got a shipment of cheese. <laughs> Peace.